Ukraine ready for a ceasefire, that's a statement from the country's president, expressed in a phone call with the German chancellor. But despite reassurances, Kiev's not targeting civilians. Residential areas in the, of the resistance hubs of Donetsk and Lugansk endured more air raids. Murray Finoshin met some of the victims of the military operation in Lugansk. A new day brings more sorrow to the city of Lugansk. This girl's mother has just been killed when a shell landed on her fourth floor balcony. It was up to the daughter to tell her father. <laughs> this young man was lucky. He was brought to the hospital with a gunshot wound and thought unlikely to survive. He regained consciousness just minutes before we arrived. <laughs> их матерями, со всеми, кто получает эти ранения. А сам вы как вот вам здесь работать? Тяжело, тревоги, тяжело. On our way out of the hospital, we meet Andrei, who just brought his wife here. This is where she was sitting. You can see one bullet here. Одна пуля вот она. Another is stuck somewhere inside the metal part. Andre is still in shock and can't believe his wife survived. I was in the shop and I heard someone scream, lay down on the ground. But I yelled that my wife was in the car. So I looked out of the window and saw that she wasn't there and heard her knocking on the shop door. He's just moved with his family from the suburbs of Lugansk into the city itself to escape fighting between anti-government forces and the Ukrainian army. I don't know what to say. Why are they doing this to us, civilians? We asked the operation commanders in Kiev what they are trying to achieve. The main goal now is to act carefully so civilians won't get hurt. We don't have any definite numbers of civilian casualties. We only have the numbers of dead and injured fighters of the anti-terror operation. The same day, Ukraine's deputy health minister reported 478 civilians have died since the beginning of the operation in April, including seven children. But just hours later, the ministry denied his statistics without giving alternative figures. We meet with the health minister of the self-proclaimed People's Independent Republic of Lugansk. But the aircraft siren starts before we even ask our first question. We have to continue the interview in a basement. I can't give any definite numbers concerning civilian casualties because many people died where we couldn't get to them, so I don't have the statistics. Ukrainian media doesn't say anything about those casualties. They're not allowed to show them. They believe that only terrorists are dying here. I ask whether they tell Kiev about the civilian casualties. No one requested this information. No one is interested. I even have statistics on the Ukrainian soldiers, but they have their own numbers. No one asks us about our statistics. And while neither Lugansk or Kiev know exactly how many men, women and children have been killed, the civilian toll is high and it's likely to rise. Marifnoshna Arti in eastern Ukraine.